So you're starting a rug. Starting a rug, yes. Yeah. This, this is just a, some piece I put in there, and then I'll put this warp in there. After that, when I get this rug finished, the length I want, I have to go through the same process on the other end. Well, this all comes out, and for instance, this right here, if you can see, see I just finished that rug up, right. and that shocks is in there. This here comes out, that gets cut off about six inches, and then we tie knots in that, my wife and I did. Oh, okay. In that. How many strings do you tie together as a knot? Six. Six of them six all together? Up, yeah. Gotcha. There's 336 pieces of warp across here. And what did you call that? Warp. Warp, and that's the strings. This, this is warp, this is warp. Okay. This here is just a filler right here. And I'm gonna put something else in there. See, probably in about two or three minutes, I'll be ready to, to do okay. a real rug. Well, well, we'll watch you here for okay. a minute. If I can see good enough, it's not very good light right here. You know that? <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> And each one of this here, this is really called a shed when that's open. Okay. Yeah. And you see this here, right here, is, is burgundy. Right. Now when I change feet down here, this here is going to go up. That's a, that's a uh, harness, whatever. And this in here goes down, you see. Okay. Just like that. And I guess that is called a shuttle. Is that what those are called? This? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been doing this? About nine years. Nine years? Yeah. Maybe just eight. But the most time consuming thing is getting it strung up back there. I can imagine that, yeah. I guess you have to have a spool for every single one, don't you? Yes, sir, there's 24 <laughs> spools down there. Right. Each one of them weighs a pound when I start it. Now we're getting ready to start the rug with the right material in it. Okay. Don't forget the 336 pieces of warp here. Open up that shed, we're going back this way. And we'll probably start about, about right there, suits me. Oh, you don't start at the end, huh? No. Oh, really? Okay. Because uh, then that way you'll have a raw, raw end. Oh, I got you. Right there. All right. Beat that a couple times. This is called a beater. You got to put that that away. If you put her tight right there, it, Cause it to draw in. I was wondering about that. Yeah. How you yeah. keep that from getting too tight. Yeah. And this here beater here is that's got a 14 pound piece of steel right there that helps me. Does that just help you to that's pack it, it down there yeah. at the right amount? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, her mom used to have a loom mm -hmm. and we were never around when she was actually using it. So yeah. yeah. Well the only time I ever I seen one used about uh, when I was a little kid. I went to a one-room schoolhouse. Yeah. Had to walk to school, so you may not want to hear this. Story. No, that's all right. Go ahead. I had to walk to, to the schoolhouse about two or three miles, and uh, I say it was just one room schoolhouse. And uh, this this farm lady had a had a couple of three or four boys, and two of them went to school with me, and I went to school with them, and we walked there. And then on the way back in the night, evening, uh, we'd go into her house and she had one of these set up in her living room. Right. And uh, she would help 
make a living back in the 50s, you see, because money wasn't too plentiful back in those days. Right. <laughs> and Kind of like today almost, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. And uh, that just stuck with me all my life. And about nine years ago, I asked a, a, a person that, that weaves a lot. He's, uh, at that time, he'd been weaving for 26 years, had 18 looms. Yeah, wow. And I asked him, I said, I said, do you think I'm too old to learn how to weave? He said, Leroy, you never get too old to learn how to weave. And uh, so I asked him a few questions about what kind I should get and yep. so forth and so on, and it just started out from there. Yeah. So I've been hitting it ever since. Yeah. Well, that's a very good story. And I really have enjoyed it. I have. I wouldn't have been working this hard. <laughs> That one I took off, I think was, or not took off, but finished up was a like uh, uh, 66 inches, I think, long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she found a real long one over here. Got one longer. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you don't start at the end, huh? No. Oh, really? Okay. Because uh, then that way you'll have a raw, raw end. Oh, I got you. All right. Beat that a couple times. This is called a beater. Beautiful. It sure looks different laying flat than it does in a row, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.